Hello, this is Eitan Shalom, and I want to show you what I'm doing today, uh, which actually it's evening. I'm on vacation in, in the desert, and I am making something called bajilla. Uh, bajilla is a, a fava bean salad that's very popular in Iraq. I learned it from a, an Iraqi friend of mine. And unfortunately, this kind of fava bean, uh, I haven't found fava beans uh like this that you could soak and wash yourself. So this is one of the few things that I'll get in a can. And this is the brand that my uh, Middle Eastern friends all recommend, California Garden. It's at all the Arab or Middle Eastern markets in San Diego. Even though it's called California Garden, uh, they are actually come from Dubai. So yes, these are not organic, and yes, they're canned. So what can I do? I, I still want to have them. And um, what I do, though, is... Um, that was two cans worth, and I, I put them in a bowl this size, filled it with water, and washed them really well, the way I wash any kind of lentil or rice before cooking. So fill it with water, really uh, wash it with my hand, pour that water out, do that two or three times till the water is completely clear, and then at least I've washed out whatever they were sitting in. So this is two cans of fava beans, and this is one uh, Japanese cucumber from my garden. Um, so it was a medium cucumber uh, that you could certainly have uh, chopped even smaller. Um, and so let me just give you the ingredients. Fava bean, cucumber, tomato. I like to use the Italian plum tomatoes, but any kind of tomato will do. Fava bean, cucumber, tomato, onion. That's the basic uh, ingredients to which is added olive oil and balsamic vinegar in roughly equal quantity. So it's about a 50-50 ratio of olive oil and balsamic vinegar. My friend would add some powdered mint leaf and some roasted sesame seed. Um, I don't have either of those handy, but what I did have is some um, uh, uh, I'm in the wrong country now, so I'm forgetting the name. Episote, some Mexican episote, uh, which um, has a fresh smell like mint, but it's rather a bit of a different smell, but it's very good with beans. And I've actually did a post on episote. And then I had some za'atar. So um, za'atar is a Middle Eastern thyme. It's a kind of thyme, uh, wild thyme. And uh, that actually has some toasted sesame in it. So that's that's what I've done. And uh, I'm now going to mix it up. And I'm going to mix it a little bit more. There we go. Uh, this is the kind of dish that's even better the second day. Because the all of the flavors will have mixed and blended. That's, that's why I'm making it now for tomorrow. Um, and this is your bajilla. It's a beautiful, I make this all the time. Let's see if I can get a better image with the light that we have here. There we go. So again, I chopped the, I don't have a good knife here. I chopped the tomato and the cucumber a little roughly. Normally I might like to chop them a little bit smaller. Um, but it has a lovely smell. That combination of the balsamic vinegar. I asked my Iraqi friend, the combination of the balsamic vinegar and the olive oil, of course, it goes really nicely with the onion and um, the spices. I also use a little black pepper. I asked my Iraqi friend, did you have did you have balsamic vinegar in Iraq? Because it's it's you know it's, it's Italian. He didn't want to answer the question. He felt sort of like I was you know insinuating something. I was just curious. Whether they, whether there was a more traditional Middle Eastern vinegar that they might have used. Um, but anyway, maybe I thought that the balsamic is coming clo close to something that they have over, over there that you can't get in the U.S. So there's the bajilla. This is in the mixing bowl. I'm not going to bother to put it in a pretty serving bowl and be like Julia Child or somebody. But yeah, there we go. It's a really refreshing salad. And uh, sometimes I like to use more olive oil 
and less vinegar. Sometimes the other way around, it really just depends. You don't, you don't really need to add any salt because the fava beans are already salted. But obviously, if you're making it from scratch, you'd have to add some salt. Um, one other thing that I do with this sometimes, and my, my Iraqi friend was appalled because it's one of those things that when you come from a food tradition, there's things you do and don't do. Like nobody in Italy puts uh, ham and pineapple on pizza. Um, so I uh, sometimes, when I don't have toasted sesame seed, I'll put some tahina in this, some, or as Americans call it, tahini. I'll put some tahina in this, and that's really nice, but um, uh, he didn't like the idea and got quite upset with me, <laughs> which I understand. Okay, so Bajilla, um, try it. You'll like it. It's very nice. I'm going to give you a final view. There we go.